In this question, we're dealing with a random variable which is uh, which describes the weight of an individual hamburger. We know it's normally distributed for mean weight of 100 gram and a standard deviation of 5 gram. So let's just put this information down so we have it handy. The expected value of H, that's the weight of the hamburger, is 100 gram. Variance is 5 squared. And the distribution is normally distributed with these parameters. So the first question now asks us what the uh, distribution of the weight is in a package of four hamburgers. Okay, we have a package of four hamburgers and we're now asked to derive the sampling distribution. So that's basically the distribution of 4H. So we'll call this random variable H pack. The, the hamburger weight in a pack and the question is how is this distributed now 4h is really h plus h plus h plus h we're just adding four hamburgers and therefore the mean is just four times the expected value of h now what about the variance so turns out it really is the variance of h times 4 squared because if we take a factor into the variance that's what we need. So let us just calculate the values of these new parameters. H pack is normally distributed with expected value 400 and actually variance is 400 as well. That's of course pure coincidence. We should note at this stage that the way how we calculated the variance for H pack assumed that the four draws of hamburgers out of the big distribution were independent of each other and it was quite natural from the question so let's calculate the probability that the combined weight of the hamburgers in a pack of four is smaller than 390 90, or smaller and equal than 390 grams so we have the uh, distribution of H pack, so we just, and it's normal, so therefore we can straight apply our standardization formula, 390 minus the expected value 400 divided by the standard deviation, we get that is equal to the probability that set is smaller than negative 0.5. And if you look that up in a standard normal table, you get a probability of 0.3085, so almost 31%. The question now asks, in addition, whether we think that this result has delivered any evidence that the machine is set to uh, deliver lighter hamburgers. Well, on the face of it, no. Okay, Because even if the machine was set correctly, there would indeed be an about 31% probability that the combined weight of the hamburgers in a pack of four is not larger than 390. So that's what we just calculated. But we need to be uh, just a little bit careful when we answer a question like this. It says, is there evidence that the machine has been set to deliver underweight hamburgers? So what we calculated, the probability, was really the probability that H pack was smaller than 390 but really assuming that the machine was correctly calibrated right? so we assumed that the machine followed the above distribution of on average producing patties that weigh 100 grams but what the question really asks is like a reverse type question what's the probability that the machine is correct assuming or given that we observe a sample that is more or not larger than 390. So it's a very very different question and really to answer it proper, properly we need to make use of uh, Bayes theorem but we're not going to do this here.